so you guys want to learn some stuff? Yeah. Y'all came here to have some fun, network, mingle, do all that good stuff. But you guys got to realize too that when you're at these events, this stuff, the stuff, the stuff that you see on the slides is cool. You can take some notes. You can take take some screenshots. Dave Gardner said it earlier where your notes are like your uncashed checks. But I can promise you this: some of the best stuff that you're going to learn is when you're hanging out in the hallway, when you're at breakfast sitting across the table from somebody, when we're at dinner tonight and you're sitting across the table and you're talking about networking, you're talking about traffic, you're talking about conversions, you're talking about all these things. So. What I'm going to try to do is I thought about this presentation, I thought about these slides ahead of time, and I said to myself, who's in the room, and what is the best information that I can get you guys? Now, we can tell you to go set up your lead capture system, we can tell you to go buy some Facebook leads. You guys already know that stuff. I would hope most of you guys know that stuff at this point. If you don't, then... But, what I want to, I also want to do is I'm going to hit on some basics, understanding your online business, but I also want to give you guys some good foundational pieces that a lot of the times we as leaders, we kind of overthink this stuff or we underestimate it or we don't pay enough attention to the basics. So what I want to do for you is I want to lay down a little bit more of that foundation. Earlier we had talked about YouTube videos and kind of laying those bricks, laying your foundation down, building it nice and strong, building up your wall, building up your fortress of your business. So I want to get into that. First thing I want to share with you guys is, I'm just going to be honest. You guys want me to be honest with you guys? All right, please, right? I'm up here. The reason why I'm up here and some of you are not is because I've just been doing this longer. That's it. There's no difference between me and you. Two years ago, I was, I was a retail store manager for a big box retailer, Home Depot. Anyone heard of Home Depot? So I used to work at, I spent my entire life in retail and I never touched online marketing until a couple of years ago. The only reason that I'm up here, ILT, I said that before, invest, learn, teach. Everything that I learned that I'm sharing with you, all the videos, all the YouTube videos, all the Facebook slides, all the stuff in the Now Lifestyle back office, all of that, I learned in the last two years and then I turned around and I share that with you. Success is a learnable skill. Write that down, take a photo, do whatever you gotta do, but know that every single one of you in here, next year when we have another event or whatever event it is, you guys can be up here sharing that same exact information. Why? Because success is a learnable skill. I'm not a guru, I'm not a freaking genius, I'm not, you know, the only thing that sets me apart from that, from, from you guys and everybody else is number one, I've been doing it longer, and number two, I took massive and perfect action. Dave mentioned earlier, Tar, take action, revise later. You go back to some of my original videos on YouTube, they suck. They're horrible. But did I just get out there and do it? Yeah, of course I did. So, as far as your online business goes, your online business consists of three things. And this is where we tend to overcomplicate the crap out of our businesses. And we talk about what Frederick mentioned earlier is that info overwhelm. If you think about it, if you step back 30,000 foot view and you're just looking down at the big picture, your business is three things. It could really be two. We're gonna talk about three. We're gonna talk about the importance and probably why number three is the most important out of all. So any guesses? Number one, what is the first thing your business needs in order to survive? That's a boom. Traffic. You gotta have traffic. If you don't have traffic, you don't have a business. Fair? If you don't have traffic, you have a hobby. You have a hobby. You don't have an actual business that pays you. How many people here want a paying business? How many people want to live that freedom lifestyle? Good, you're in the right seat. So number two, what do you need that traffic to do? As Seb would say, kill those. Wait for it. There it is, okay. Let's try to do you some justice, sorry. Uh, so, traffic, conversions, all right? <clears throat> sounds, sounds simple, right? Everybody understands that? You have to have traffic. Does Amazon drive traffic? Amazon drives a shitload of traffic. Really? <laughs> <laughs> My wife knows Amazon well. We 
we got one of those little smiley face boxes almost every day. So we understand traffic. So you send traffic to your site. Everybody here has a website or a link. Same thing. Again, don't overcomplicate it. I have a website? Yeah, it's called your link. All right? So again, just understanding these fundamentals. You have traffic. You send traffic to your site. You either need to get your traffic to convert into one of two things, a business builder or a customer. That's it. That is your main goal as an online entrepreneur. You drive traffic to a link. You convert it into a business builder or a customer. That's your business. That's pretty freaking simple, isn't it? Right? Yes. yes, no, yes or yes? Yes, all right, right. So don't overcomplicate it any more than that. Drive the hell out of traffic and convert it. How do you convert it? Well, you can do it with that about 60 million different ways. We're gonna get into that. Number three, which in my opinion, is the most important. No, I'm set a mindset. That's why, this, that's why he's my guy. That's why he's my guy. Mindset. You've got to have the right mindset because, plain and simple, if you don't have the right mindset, nothing else matters. You can have the best converting offer. You can have the best traffic. But if your head's not in the game, it's game over. Does that make sense? Yes or yes? You guys are smart. So that's why... Your online business consists of three things, traffic, conversions, and mindset. So now we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into each one of these, okay? How to find success with now lifestyle. Pretty simple, again, keeping it simple here. Number one most important thing, and I'm really gonna expand on this tomorrow, but is you gotta decide. Most of you here, and I'm just gonna be honest with you, and I want you to be honest with yourselves, most of you here have decided. But I guarantee you there's people that are sitting in this room that haven't fully decided yet. Why? Because you're still treating your business like a hobby. Let that sink in. Until you fully decide, and you'll know. You'll know it in your heart, you'll know it in your head, you will feel it, it will keep you up at night so you can't sleep. Once you make that concrete decision, you will know that you are in this to win this and you will never, ever give up. Because making that decision is part of step three. It's all about the mindset. You can say, yep, I signed up, I decided. Well, no you didn't. You decide when shit hits the fan and you run out of money and you're up against the wall and you keep going. You find a way, one way or another, to keep going. Because if you don't, if you say you decided, and you run out of money and you quit or you cancel or you just stop working, you didn't decide. You signed up. Give yourself a participation trophy for just signing up. That means nothing, okay? Number two, you gotta take massive action. What is massive action? Getting eyes on your link. You hear Joel say it all the time, all the time. We all talk about it. Take massive and perfect action. And a lot of times, and this is where people get confused and we're trying to keep this simple, what is massive action? What does it mean to work my business? Get people to look at your link. That's it. That's working your damn business. How do you do that? You send out an email. You take a video. Joel gave you the task earlier. Everybody send a video. Take a video while you're here. Send it to your Facebook page. Upload it to YouTube. Send, email it out to your list tonight when you get back to your room. But get eyes on your link as much as damn possible, over and over, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. Does that make sense? Yes or yes? Yes, all right, you guys are smart, man. you're picking this up. Number three, stay consistent. Like I said to you guys earlier, one of the reasons why I'm here and other people are not, I have been consistent longer than most people. That is why I get the results that I do, period. I have been consistent over a period of time longer than most people in this industry. Two years, and what's scary is that's not a lot of time. That's really not a lot of time. But the attrition rate in our, is our, in our industry is less than 30 days. People sign up, they think they're gonna sign up and be a thousandaire the next day, and they're not, and they go, oh crap, this doesn't work, it's a scam. So you've gotta stay consistent. Number four, never, ever quit. Winners find a way, and quitters never what? 
Quitters never win. So, seems basic, right? Everybody smell what I'm stepping in? Smell good? Right. Sorry, you're gonna have a little fun here. You're gonna have a little fun. One of my favorite quotes, it's not the mountain we conquer but ourselves. Like I said, you guys have heard me say this on webinars before, you guys have heard many other leader, leaders talk about this. The only thing, the only one singular thing that is going to prevent you from getting the results that you want is what's between your ears. That's it. So I don't care what your excuse is, if it's money, if it's time, if it's whatever, it does not matter. The only thing that's gonna help you get results is right here. That's why I talked about number three, having the right mindset and if you don't have the right mindset, you won't win. It's not on these slides, but how many people here know who Jim Rohn is? Most of the hands in this room, awesome. Again, another quote, you guys can write this down because it's not on these slides, but please write this down. Jim Rohn states, if you want to do something, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. I want you to think about that for a second. If you, want, if you want to do something, you'll find a way. If you want to win, if you want to live the laptop lifestyle, travel the beaches of the world, do all that stuff. Like how many people here really travel the beaches of the world? Besides John Weaver, anybody else? <laughs> Realistically, even, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, like, you know, we, we haven't arrived yet. I'm not at the level where I can do whatever the hell I want, whatever I want to do, but I think we're a little more homebodies. Yeah, we would like to travel a little more. We do like a little, do a little that cool stuff. But how many people out there realistically think that they're going to be traveling the beaches of the world, sitting with a laptop on a beach chair every day, sipping a cocktail? That's like 0.0001% of the population. So be real with yourselves and realize that to get the life that you want to live, if you want to do that, whatever that lifestyle is, you just have to decide and you just have to go make it happen because if you don't, you're just gonna find an excuse as to why you can't do it. And whatever your excuse is, is bullshit. Sorry, just being real. So let's expand a little bit on your wheel of success. And again, this is where you wanna take some notes, you wanna look at this and think about this. How are you going to get to the point where you can live that freedom lifestyle, that laptop lifestyle? Everybody here needs a wheel of success. Everybody needs that wheel that is going to get out there and do that work, do that automation, do the work for you. All right? So in order to do that, first thing you need is traffic. We talked about that, right? So we talked about the things, the one, two, three, the traffic conversion, the mindset. But now we're going to break that down a little more. We're going to get more into the nuts and bolts. So within your wheel of success, success, you have to consistently have traffic coming into your funnel, coming into your link. This can be applied to now lifestyle, this can be applied to any business online, period. You have to have consistent traffic coming in. That starts your wheel. So if you guys picture a little hamster wheel going around, you gotta get that little momentum going first. You gotta start walking, start crawling, then start walking, then start running, and that all starts with traffic. All right, the next part of that hamster wheel, the next part of that success wheel is your follow-up emails and your broadcast emails. Those have to be going out every single day, every single day. So now the wheel's starting to gain momentum, okay? You got your traffic wheel going, you got your broadcast emails going, you got your follow-up emails going. Does anybody not know the difference between a follow-up email and a broadcast email? You guys are good, you guys are good. All right, cool, so I'm glad you guys know that. So you have your traffic coming in, you get your follow-up emails going out, you get your broadcast emails going out. Now you're getting some steady exposure. Your business is getting some good, starts with a C, what? Conversions, consistency. You're getting some consistency in your business. And the one deciding factor, the one deciding factor that in all of this, again, when you step back and you look at the bigger picture, is going to determine whether you win or you lose. And part of that wheel, and one of the biggest parts of that wheel, and again, this goes back to step number three, which is mindset, that if you don't have 
is time. Okay? Seems really basic, right? Why does it seem really basic? Because it is. Period. So in order to, anybody in this room, myself, Tara sitting in the back, welcome by the way, good to have you. The A-team, Sean, Carlos, doesn't matter. For anybody who have results with now lifestyle, you have to have this wheel. Consistent traffic, consistent follow-up, consistent broadcasts, and time. So now the question is, how much time? How much time is it before I get the results that I want? How much time is it before I see my first sale? How much time is it before I can quit my job and live the laptop lifestyle? How much time is that? Well, for starters, that's up to you. And the other answer to that is as long as it takes. Fair? But as long as it takes isn't gonna work if you don't have the right mindset. Why? Because just like Jim Rohn says, if you don't want to do something, you're going to find an excuse as to why it doesn't work. Oh, I've been doing this for 90 days, sending emails, driving traffic, and I'm not making the money that I thought I was going to make. It doesn't work. Well, guess what? Maybe instead of 90 days, maybe you needed 120. Maybe on that 121st day, you would have got your first all-in sale, and it would have had a complete breakthrough in your business. And you would have went, oh, crap, this actually works. But you don't know if you quit. Fair? Fair. All right. So... Basic, before you guys start driving traffic, again, this is kind of, this is a little more newbie friendly here. Make sure that you have your system set up. Make sure that you've gone through your lead capture system. You've tested your own link. You've logged into your own lead capture page if you're using the autoresponder. You've logged into your external capture page and it links to your autoresponder. Make sure all of that works before, before you start driving traffic. I know, kind of a basic, but again, just want to cover some of these foundational pieces. All right. So, Talked about traffic before, and there's many, 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 many different ways to drive traffic. We talked about this on the leadership panel earlier. But what exactly is traffic? Plain and simple, it's clicks on your link. That's it. That's what traffic is. People clicking on your link and checking out what you have to offer. And what you have to offer is amazing. What you have to offer is now lifestyle. So, what are some other forms of traffic? You have solo ads. If you don't know what a solo ad is, I don't need to explain it to you. Joel talked about it before. You can be resourceful and you can go look it up. Okay? Solo ads, great way to drive traffic. Facebook ads, 1,000% not for beginners. I have new people that come on board all the time and go, oh, I want to do Facebook ads. I'm like, no, you don't. No, you're good. Just start, start here, get warmed up, and then, you know, 6, 12 months from now, then we can talk about Facebook ads. Um, but once you get there, two years ago, did I, know how to, did I know how to do Facebook ads? Nope. Did I learn it within the last year? Yep. Did I get really good at it? Yep. Is it the main driver of my business now? Yep. Now lifestyle, you guys go buy Facebook leads, right? Through the back office? Who here buys Facebook leads consistently for their business? Probably 75% of this room. Facebook ads is a great revenue source, it's a great traffic source for your business, but take your time, learn it correctly, all right? Free sources, Dave Gardner's got some great videos on free traffic sources. Again, these are all just ways that you can get clicks on your link. The more clicks you can get on your link, the better you're gonna be. YouTube is also a great way to drive traffic. We didn't have that up here, but <clears throat> you can use YouTube. Any ways possible, you wanna get as many eyes on your link as humanly possible, and you will need to stay Consistent. Have a 90 day traffic game plan. How many people have actually created a 90 day traffic game plan? I don't expect a lot of hands up, but that's okay. So, like 10% of the room. 12. All right. Why would a 90 day traffic game plan be effective for you? Why would that be effective? It's gonna create consistency, right? Consistent actions, you write this down, consistent actions equal consistent what? Results. So why is it that when people aren't consistent at all, they expect results? We've all sponsored those people. Sometimes we've even been those people. You sign up, you throw 100 clicks of traffic at it, you don't get the results you want, you say it doesn't work. That's why, not only for yourself, 
not only for yourself, but for your downline, for the people that you're bringing in. Adam and Ashley talk about it all the time, getting on webinars and connecting with people and coming up with a strategy with them, a game plan. Hey, what do you think your monthly traffic budget could be for the next three months, for the next 90 days? Why do I need a traffic budget? Do you want to see results or not? You want to see results? Okay, great, let's come up with a plan. Consistent traffic is going to get you consistent results, period, end of story. So, what are types of conversions? Now we talked about types of traffic. What are different types of conversions? And again, we're laying down these foundational basics for you so you have a full understanding of what it actually is. Getting a lead. A lead is a conversion. That's the first step in the conversion process. You drive traffic, somebody clicks on your link, they give you their email address, you now own that email address, they become a lead. That is conversion step number one. Then, your next goal is to get that lead into some form of sign-up, okay? Some form of sign-up, whether it be a free sign-up, a paid sign-up, getting members from a free to a paid lead, all right? Sometimes people think that once the conversion process is done, once they actually sign up, is it done then? No, you're always converted. Conversions are another way of saying sales, okay? So if I want to get more conversions, if I get if I get a paid if I get someone who pays for a VIP, do I want to convert them up to platinum? Of course, of course I do. If someone gets up to platinum, do I want to convert them up to all in? Absolutely, right? So and then once I have them operating like that, what do I want to do? I want to make sure they have a good traffic game plan in place. We're going to start creating some duplication. So. Know your different types of conversions and know that you're always converting. You're always trying to convert them from one point to another, okay? How do you increase your conversions? Anybody? How do you increase your conversions? Don? Value. Or as I say, value! Value, lots of value. All right, so you want to give your people value. Earlier, we had talked about ILT. ILT literally changed my business almost overnight. So I, I get a lot of signups. I have a lot of people duplicating and everything because I provide value to my team. I do that in my Facebook group, I do that on my YouTube, um, on my YouTube channel. Provide value, as much value as you possibly can. Now you can do that in many, many, many different ways, from videos, from teachings, to webinars, to whatever. But the more, plain and simple, the more value that you provide, the more conversions you're going to get. Does that make sense? Yes or yes? Yes. All right, good. So think about that. What are you doing? Now, you guys all have authority positioning because you're here. What are you doing? You guys are now leaders, whether you realize it a lot or not. You guys are now leaders because you're here and people on your team are not. So what are you doing as a leader to give your team more value so everybody else can level up? I want you to think about that. I want you to make, make a note, write that down. But what are you doing? Adam talked about being duplicatable. Are you? Are you the example for your team? Ask yourself that question. Look yourself in the mirror and say, would I want to join my business? Would I want to join me? Okay. So here's some tips to increase your conversions, all right? Number one, follow-up emails. Are your emails branded to you? Do you have a photo in your email? I want you to think about how many people here get emailed every day? Every head should be up. So think about all the emails that you get. Some of them are boring as heck. Some of them are, some of them you actually open and you read. Why do you open and you read them? Because you know they're going to be interesting. Maybe you're going to learn something. Maybe there's a tip. Maybe there's a strategy in there. Maybe there's something that you can actually learn, but you guys know what those emails are. I get emails every day. Some of them, it's just the automatic swipe, delete, swipe, delete, swipe, delete, swipe, delete. And some of them, I get on a lot of, a lot of other people's leaders' lists. All right? I get a lot of the top leaders that are in the industry, not just with Now Lifestyle, but that are, that are in the industry. I go find their capture page. I go find... You know, I go to their name.com or whatever it is, and I get on their page. 
I might not read every single one of their emails, but I get on their list because that gives me value. That gives me ILT. That gives me something that I can use and turn around and give that to somebody else, okay? But are those emails branded to those people? Absolutely. There's usually a photo, some type of photo banner at the top. There's usually a photo at the bottom. Sometimes they might have photos in the body of the email. But I want you to think about this. The emails that you're sending out, are those the type of emails that you would open yourself if they landed in your inbox? Or would they be boring as hell? Would you just swipe delete? Again, I want you guys to think about this. Think about the type of stuff that you're emailing out. And does what is going to cause anybody to open that email? Mike Potman says it all the time. If you don't have a great headline, you can have the greatest copy on earth. You can have the most amazing story. But if they don't open the damn email, who's going to ever read it? So you got to have a good headline, too. Think about that. But does your email offer value to your reader? Another tip that you guys can use, Google this, write this down. There's an email sequence on Google called Game, Logic, and Fear. And it's a great email sequence that you can either add into your follow-up emails or you can just sprinkle it throughout the week. But when you follow Game, Logic, and Fear, and you can even, you know, you can either condense that into one email if you want to, but Game, Logic, and Fear talks about what people gain by joining you. The logic behind why someone be one want to join you, would want to join you, and also, <clears throat> The fear, FOMO, fear of missing out, what people are going to lose if they don't join you. So you guys can Google that. There's a little PDF that you can pull up and download. You can start and just read it. It's really simple. It makes a lot of sense, but you can incorporate that into your emails. All right. <clears throat> Number two, video marketing. We've talked about this. Using videos lets people know that you're real. Plain and simple. Here's a stone cold fact. Here's a stone cold fact, and everybody needs to think about this. Because I made a video, because I made a video and I uploaded it to YouTube for that one simple reason, and this is why I want to talk about basics with you guys, for that one simple reason, that's why Adam and Ashley Rieger are standing right there. Because I made a video, and that's the God's honest truth. If I didn't take advantage of this, we probably wouldn't have had dinner last night. They wouldn't be standing there. So think about that. How are you going to attract more people like them into your business? Video marketing is a great way to do that. It lets people know that you're real. You can use videos to introduce yourself. I use videos in my emails all the time because I recycle my content. I'll make a Facebook Live. I'll upload it to YouTube. I'll take that video. I'll take that YouTube video and then I email that out to my list. So I have three different sources. We talked about that success wheel, right? Now I've got other things working. I'm adding other features into my success wheel. I'm getting more eyes on my what? My link. I'm getting more eyes on my link by using video marketing. Plain and simple, use videos to share your message. Number three, value. Okay, we're talking about increasing your conversion. So value, what will the lead gain by joining you? Are you giving them a reason? And again, ask yourself this. Are you giving people a reason to join your business, or you just say, check out this amazing opportunity, click my link. How good does that actually work? You gotta give a reason, plain and simple. You have to give them a reason to want to join you. What sets you apart from everybody else? Right now, you guys know that. You have authority positioning, so that's setting you apart from everybody else. So please, for the love of you know who, use that. Use what you have. Don't settle for, ah, oh, just, I'm not gonna be, I'm never gonna be as good as Dan is. Just get over yourself. So I'm dead serious. I know some of you laugh, but I'm dead serious. Any one of you could be up here. Any one of you. I truly hope that the next event we do, there's more of you up here. But what sets you apart from everybody else? What's one thing that sets me apart from other people? I make videos. Is that easy? Like, think about that. Is that really easy? It is. That's it. Okay? And lastly, big thing, are you helping people solve a problem? These days, when people want to start an online business, what are they starting an online business for? They want more what? 
They want more time, they want more money, so how are you going to help them get that? How are you going to solve their problem? Number four, this has helped me tremendously, and I want you to think about, think about this for a second, all right? Just think about this. And it, by all means, I don't want to pull away from the NLS community, but every single, every single leader that sat right here, what's one thing we all have in common? We all have a community. All of us have a community. A community of support, a community of social proof, a community of other people winning, a community that gives people a sounding board, the people that, that can go and they can feel safe and they can feel wanted, they can get their questions answered. Having a community is one of the number one things that I spliced. The day that I started my now lifestyle business, I set up a group chat. Everybody that came into my business went into a group chat, okay? I gave people a sounding board. How many people here are in my Skype group? So like 60% of the room. Is that Skype group a help, helpful place to be? To get your questions answered? Community. Create a community. All right? What's, by creating a community, what's, up, what's that going to do for you? Think about this one. Think about the reverse effect. By creating a community for you and your team, what does that do for you? It frees up what? Frees up your time. Freeze up your time, because now, when I get new members coming into my Skype group, when I get new members coming into my Facebook group, do I have to answer every single question? Nope, nope, because I got a group of people. I have super awesome people, like Carlos and Sean Mullen and David Haynes and everybody else, that when someone says, what do I do? What link do I use to drive traffic? And somebody else can answer that question, and my time is freed up because of that community. Number five, training, I-L-T. What are you offering your people? What are you offering your team? What are you offering your leads that's going to help get them to the next step? Not what's gonna help them go all in, not what's gonna help them be a $50 platinum member. Whatever step they're at, what training are you gonna offer them to get to that next step? Sounds easy, right? Does all this stuff make sense? Yep. You guys learning anything? All right, good. All right, so from conversions, we talk about this. How much time does it take to find success? As long as it takes. And a lot of people will, especially when they're new, are wondering, how long does it take? How much traffic do I need to drive? How much do I need to spend on traffic? When am I gonna start seeing results? When you do some damn work, that's when. When you give it the time that it needs. Well, how long is that? As long as it takes. Be honest with people. You're going to get the results by the effort that you put in, plain and simple. And sometimes that is as long as it takes. And sometimes for the average person, you never know how much time that is. Okay? You just don't know, plain and simple. That could be a day to get your first result. That could be a year. It could be like Joel. It could take you two years to get your first sale. But you know what? Joel had the right what to keep going Mindset, yeah. We're getting it, we're getting it, woo! All right, here's some tips. Don't worry, we're gonna wrap up here. We're gonna wrap up soon. So, tips to improve your mindset. Read, personally I hate reading, but I have it up here because some people actually like reading. So for me, these are more audiobooks. I get into audiobooks. And when I was back working a job, just like, David mentioned earlier, a university on wheels. When I was stuck in an hour and a half's worth of traffic driving from Derry, New Hampshire, down to you know pretty much Boston, Mass, sitting in traffic is my favorite thing on earth. Um, I'm kidding. But I would I would listen to stuff like this. These are my top five. Now that doesn't mean that you guys have have to go do this. There's a million great books out there. But for me, so part of the reason why I'm here is because I was consistently listening to this. And, I'm, and I guarantee you that if Joel were to show you his iTunes right now, he would probably pull up most of these books right here. Also for me too, one of the things that I love about these books, especially if you guys are into audiobooks, which I like the audiobooks, a lot of the times you can find the audiobooks that are actually narrated by the author themselves, and it just it makes them feel a little more real versus having some you know, stranger narrate the book for you. But you want to read. Give yourself 
the time. Give yourself the time that it takes to develop the right mindset. Don't just go out there and be like, yeah, I'm going to have a positive mindset. All right, cool. Check that one off the list. No. Seriously. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I'm joking, but I'm not joking about this. If you want to have the right mindset, you have to give yourself the time it takes to develop the right mindset. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? All right. Everybody's starting to get that 3.30 feeling? No. Joel, get it. Everyone wants an elevator. Let's go. Elevate all the house. Um, we do have free samples. <laughs> so like I mentioned, empowering audios, podcasts, iBooks, iTunes, all that stuff, Google Play, whatever it is. Give yourself the time it takes. So for those of you guys that are still you know, working a job, one of the best times you can listen to this type of stuff is on your way to work. As long as you don't have like a 30 second commute. Most of you have more than a 30 second commute, but give yourself the time it takes. Whether it be, I know, I know some folks, you know, every night after they have dinner, they'll sit down and they'll read for an hour, or they'll read for 45 minutes, or whatever it is. But just, I talk a lot about time blocking, for those that have ever seen my videos on time blocking, but literally carve this time out. And this is one of the best things that you can do for yourself. Carve this time out, and this is your time. And I don't mean like, this is your time, like you're sitting down watching TV and you got your phone next to you here and you got your laptop over here. And it's like, all right, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do some mindset stuff right now. No, 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 no. This means you put your phone on airplane mode or you shut it off, you lock yourself in a corner, you dedicate that time specifically to you, to your own personal development, to your own mindset, to your future. That's why that's important. That's why your mindset's important because you're dedicating time to your future. So let that sink in real nice and deep, okay? Number three, surround yourself with positive people. You guys have all heard the, the, the saying that you are who you surround yourself with, right? Or you're a reflection of the five closest people to you. Where a lot of people make this mistake is they think of that in a physical term. So if you think about the five closest physical people to you, you're probably thinking a spouse, a friend, family, kids, whatever. And it's like, oh, if I surround myself with these people, they're negative all the time. But you want to surround yourself with the right people. And a lot of times, especially in today's day and age, the people that we surround ourselves with are online. The people that we communicate with the most, or the most for some of us, are online. But surround yourself with positive people. If you have negative people in your life, say bye. You have to ask yourself one thing. Are they helping you or hurting you? Sometimes you got to be real. Sometimes you got to let go. You can still be friends. You can still chat. You can still talk to them every now and then. But limit that time. Don't let it wear off on you. Don't let it affect you to the point where it's going to start affecting you and your business and your future. Okay? So surround yourself with the right people. Focus on positive actions. Network with people. This is a big one. Network with people that have what you want. Okay? And think about this. I heard this last year and I thought it makes, made a lot of sense. A lot of people are here in our lives and around us to offer us advice. Right? Whether, you, whether it's the right advice or not, a lot of times people are free to offer that advice, right? They're free to give it up. They hand it out. They're like, hey, maybe you should go do this, or maybe you shouldn't do this, or whatever it is. Think about this. You should only be taking advice, especially when it comes to financial freedom, time freedom, where you want to be, where you want to go. You should only be taking advice from people that you would trade places with. All right? So write that down and think about that. If I'm going to seek advice, I'm going to seek advice from somebody that they have what I want, okay? Am I gonna go search my downline tree and reach out to somebody that hasn't even gotten started yet and say, hey, what do you think I should do? That's not, that's not gonna get me anywhere. So only take advice from people that you would trade places with when it comes to your business, right? So guys, always, 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 always remember, I know I started this in the beginning. I'll say it again. Success is a learnable skill. Period, end of story. Every single one of you that's in this room has a leg up 
on everybody else in that lifestyle. And that is the truth. Everybody, every one of you that's in this room has a leg up on people that don't go to events. All right? You guys have the advantage. The ball is in your court. The ball is in your court. You have the opportunity right now, today, and for the rest of your lives to do whatever the hell you want. You can accomplish any goal. You can reach any milestone. You can go anywhere in the world you want if you allow yourself to do it. If you allow yourself to do it. But like I said, the only thing that's preventing you from getting the results you want, it's not the money, it's not the time, it's not the kids, it's not your spouse, it's not any of that except what's right here. That's it. But you can do it, you can achieve any goal you want. I encourage you to do it. Get out there, kick ass, take names, and don't ever give up on you and your family. You guys got this.